cannot take myself seriously in this viewfinder. I... Good morning, my beautiful people. So today it is a very, very miserable day. I'm just sat here having my morning coffee. Like, it's so miserable. I don't understand where the nice weather has gone. Like, I just don't get it. It's horrible. But hey ho, life carries on. Amelie is still, still asleep. It's very, very nice. So today I am going to go and meet Hannah and we're going to go off and find what's in TK Maxx and what's in Home Bargains at the moment. I can't wait to go to TK Maxx. I love TK Maxx and I've missed it so much. If you've got anything in mind that I actually need, I'm just going and I'm going to see what I can get. And then later on, I'm popping around to my friend's house because she's just bought a house. So she's going to show me around there, which I'm so excited for. Can't wait to see it. I've been going through the whole journey with her and she's been so excited about it. So I can't wait to go in and actually see it for myself. So that's going to be really, really nice. I've made her a hamper. Um, obviously she hasn't seen it yet and this video will be going up after she's got the hamper so I've made her a hamper I'm gonna show it you can't really see through the cellophane because um, I've wrapped it all up really cute with this really cute little bow so in there I have got her a wax melt because everybody needs a wax melt when they move into a house like it's just a given I've got one in like every single room and then I managed to get her this Yankee Candle grilled peaches and vanilla. Oh, it smells so nice. So I've got her that and obviously that's a wax tart to go in the top of the wax melt. I have put her a couple of tea lights in there because I completely forgot to pick up a pack of tea lights. So she's got some of mine, but I'll let her know that that's absolutely fine. And then... I got her the Yankee Candle Sweet Maple Chai, which is incredible. And I'm going to advise that she puts that in her kitchen because it just smells really nice and like you're baking a cake. I love it. Then I got her one of these Febreze Three Volution plug-in air fresheners. They are brilliant and I've got them everywhere in the house, so she needs them too. I got her the Thai Orchid scent for that because it's really nice and it's a two-pack as well, so that was really good. Then I've got some Zoflora, obviously, and I've got it in my favourite scent, Country Garden. So I'm hoping she likes it. I mean, she might not, but she can go out and buy her all her own scents. But that one's really nice, and I really like that one. Then I got her the Fabulosa spray. I love the Wild Rhubarb one, so I got her that one. It's really, really nice. In the back, you can see I got some elbow grease because that is amazing for getting anything. So if she spills anything on the carpet, she can spray that, get it out. She can degrease her oven with it, a hob, literally everything she can use that for. So I thought that was a really good one. Toilet cleaner, Harpic, Pine, obviously, because it smells amazing. And obviously she's gonna have to clean the toilets. And then a dish matic. So I got her the one handle and in that there's six refill pads as well. So I thought that was really good. I don't know whether you can see in the back there is a pink stuff spray because that's just amazing for all over cleaning. Um, so yeah, I really hope she's going to be happy with it. I didn't want to just get her something pointless that she's not going to use. I wanted to get her something that she can put all this away and she can actually get out and use it and it will just start her off as it is her first ever home. So I'm so excited to give her this, so excited. And I think it just looks really pretty with a little bow. Oh, I can't wait. And then this grey basket, it's actually meant for a hamper, but I thought she could just use that for anything. Like she could put that grey basket in the bathroom and put towels in or she can do whatever. So she can use that somewhere and I know she loves grey, so that's what we're going with that that is her pretty little cleaning camper ready for her new home so i can't wait a new um shower cap okay so i think i'm gonna get this because it's leopard print uh, oh my god no they've got loads oh so there's leopard print there's that oh I like that one. 
And there's a leopard print one. Oh, I don't know which. I think I like the leopard print one the most, but I think I like that leopard print one. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. That one? Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's got soap in it. <gasps> Little soap drawer. I know. I know. I love their um, hand washers and stuff though, because they're always in like really pretty bottles. Like that, look. Oh, love that. Oh, how did you get on with that charcoal brush? Yeah, I liked it. The bam. Yeah, I wanted one. Yeah. They've got a load here. Bet that'd be about seven, eight quid. That. Five quid. Oh, that's not bad. No, that is good. Yeah, I might get one then. Yeah, I know, I am. What about a white and a pink one? And then I'll know that mine's pink. Yeah, that'll be better, I think. Oh, yeah. Let's get some of them. Hey, you This is on offer for 90p. Oh, that's good. Can't go wrong with 90p, can you? No, you can't. What's the one at the back? Oh, I like that one. Vagabond. Well, that's just a plain pink one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get that one instead. It's 90p and that is 3 You can't go wrong with 90p. You can't go wrong with 90p. Sweet whitening gel refills. Mm. Two week supply. That's interesting though because I've got my trays. Peroxide free formula, put them back. I love it when they say they're a peroxide free formula. No bleach in it. It's a con. See, you know that, but I wouldn't have known. Yeah, it's a con, guys. If you end up looking <laughs> for these, it won't do anything. <laughs> Laura Ashley sexy pants. I bet they're comfortable, though, you know. Yeah. I bet they're so. I know, but I bet they're so comfortable. I love a big pant. I really wanted the, one of these waffle ones. How much are they selling these for? Thank you. Hannah. It's £14. But it's a small. No, but I feel like I'd need a medium. You know, because you want it a bit chunkier. No. Oh, I'm gutted. I know that I won't be comfortable in that. I want it oversized. Yeah. I really wanted some bamboo bowls. Yeah. I think you can microwave them, can't you? I don't think you can microwave them. Can you not? So I've got a dinner bowl. Like what I take stuff to work in, you can't microwave them. No, microwave safe and it's got an X through it. No, you oh. can't, you're right. No, it, bubble, it bubbles up. You can put them in the dishwasher. Dishwasher, eco-friendly, dishwasher safe, fresh and natural appearance. Can't microwave. That's a problem for me. Yes. How much for? No, they've got another one. They haven't, have they? No. It's fine. I can live without it. What's that one got on it? It's sugar. Flour. No, it's the same. It's just bigger. Is it? Mm. Yeah, go for it. I'll get the bigger one. Oh my god. Beautiful. Yeah, I love getting the La Crusette stuff from here. You can get a really good price. That's lovely. Oh, that's Hannah. I'm loving it. You need to have that. Mama Jim Aid. God's better. God's <laughs> Oh, little mix. <laughs> Sex in the City one. I literally love these. Wow. This one, it's spice up your notes. I feel like I'd have to say it every time I got it out. <laughs> spice up your notes, spice up your notes. Right, I need to decide here, Hannah, if I need two pairs of curtains. I love these, I do, mm. but I think, well, where am I gonna put them? Mm. It's so wet. Oh my God. So I have left Hannah in TK Maxx because we basically bought half the shop. So I need to go 
walk back all through the rain. I'm absolutely soaked. I didn't wear a coat. It's my own fault. Um, so I'm going to go now and drive around. And we're also going to have to try and get everything from TK Maxx into the car without getting it all wet. So this is going to be an absolute challenge. Yes. Obviously, as you saw, I went shopping again. I've got some things from TK Maxx. I have got things from the range. And I've also been into Primark again because I was in town. So I thought I may as well just pop in. Because I had the shorts to take back and the white, very see-through top, which was in my last haul, my Primark haul, which I'll pop a link up for. But disclaimer, everything that I did was completely social distancing. You know, the shops are making sure that you're doing it, so... There ain't no getting away from it. Grab yourself a drink and let's see what goodies I got. I'll bring the Primark bag. I'm gonna bring the Primark bag over. So yes, I went back and I got them in a size 12. I've tried them on. They look fine with the belt. I'm happy with these. Really, really happy. And to top it off, they had a black version of the white top. So at least I know that there is in no way that this is going to be see-through. So I've got a black version, slightly different sleeves. It's got like organza, meshy sleeves, but I really, really like it. And I think it, again, it will look really nice with shorts and things like that. To be honest, I probably wear this one more now thinking about it because you can really dress this up. You can really dress this up, but it will also look nice with a denim skirt or something like that. The next thing I got from Primark, as I was going through, is this little bag, which I absolutely love. It is so cute and it's £10. And I've seen these on ASOS for like 20 This was £10. It's got like a little, um... I thought I broke it then. Yeah, it's got a little hook uh, that you just pop over and it's got like a little bubble thing on the front and then this is what i love about it it's got it's got a longy it's got a long strap you need a long strap sometimes sometimes you need a long strap so uh yeah really happy with this because you can wear it as like just a little bag or an over the shoulder game do you know what i mean so really happy with that purchase then i went back over to the accessory aisle I'm a bugger for an accessory. So, these little scrunchies, absolutely love scrunchies. I think they're so cute. And these are really small, like little, they're quite thin. I thought they'd be really nice when I wear my hair half up, half down. I like to put just a little bit of a, bit of an accessory in. So, got those. Then, I saw these and these are just really boring and plain. I know, they're just hair bubbles, but, Great for French plaits. Do you know what I'm saying? Then I saw these anklets. I really wanted, focus, focus, focus. I really wanted some anklets and they were so cute. Two pounds, two pounds. Then I saw these. Do you know what I forgot? I bought a pair of sunglasses actually on my last haul and I forgot to show them. I did. Hmm. Well, these are another pair I got. I want John vibes. Absolutely love them. They are very big, but, and don't get me wrong, I probably wouldn't wear them with my hair up on top of my head like this because I look a little bit like, um, like a bug. Hmm. Yeah, a bit like a bug. I think they're more of a uh, wear your hair down. Literally looking in the viewfinder now thinking... Hannah said they suited me. No, do you know what? I think I'll be absolutely fine. Let, let's take the label off. Let's. Yeah, do you know what? I actually really do like them. Yeah, I'm feeling them. I'm about them. And I love the fact that they're really like quite see-through. Put those in. They've got these little um, pouches. And they were actually reduced to 50p. So I'm actually going to put that in there now. Hey, you This is so cute. You watch. Giant Elton John sunglasses won't fit. There they are. That is all I ended up getting extra from Primark. And that is where it stops. TK Maxx. 
let's talk about TK Maxx. TK Maxx was really, really good. I was really, really happy with them, but I didn't get that much in there. I, cu I couldn't find anything that I was like falling in love with, but I wanted a pack of bamboo toothbrushes for ages, absolutely ages. I've been looking for them and I found these and they've got a white handle so Jack can have that one and I'll have the pink one but I've made a big 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 mistake um I picked up soft and I am a qualified dental nurse and you don't buy soft toothbrushes they don't really do anything tough enough to get all of the plaque and tartar off so I'm a bit annoyed but I am going to give them a go I am a bit annoyed that I picked up the soft because I'm sure they had medium um i don't i'm not gonna take them back like it's just weird I, I can't do that so i'll try them see if i get on okay with it and then if we do i'll go back and buy a medium pack i thought they just looked really nice as well so i really like those oh here are the sunglasses from a primark haul the other day that i didn't show you they're in the bottom of this bag these are a bit smaller Now I look like Willy Wonka. I think I'll just stick to my Gucci's to be honest because uh, these uh, fashion ones aren't really... Uh... No. I cannot take myself seriously in this viewfinder. I I literally, I look like the Johnny Depp version of uh, Willy Wonka when he comes out in them glasses. Yeah, so um, they'll probably all just get put in a drawer and... Um, so, got those bamboo toothbrushes. I'm just going to have to stretch over here to pick these other bits up. I got some curtains from TK Maxx, right? These have a funny story behind it because they're not on a, uh, a hanger anymore. I saw these and as I've mentioned before, I am putting quite a bit of pink into the living room. But... I picked them up. Obviously, while you're in the shop, you can't really, like, test your cushions out with them and stuff because I didn't have them with me. So, they are pink, and I saw them, and I was like, right, I'm going to get them because, wait for it, they were £6. £6. Before they got home, um, it was really, really raining, as you saw on my previous bit of the video. So, I picked them up well, 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 well. Um, so, Hannah comes out with the trolley. She's pushing the trolley at this point, and... Um, the curtains fall, they fall to the floor. I'm genuinely not bothered in the slightest, but it was the funniest moment ever. They just fell and they fell in a puddle. So when I got back, I got them out and I washed them. Hannah will be very pleased to know they have come up beautifully, but they're not going to be going in my living room. They don't go with the pink that I've got in here. So I've decided that these are going to go in the spare bedroom. They're going to go in the dressing room. I'm currently mustard and grey in there and I don't really like it. So they're going to go in the dressing room. Then from the range, I managed to get these tie backs. So these are going to go round these curtains. I don't know whether you can see them. There we go. So I got these. They're kind of like pearls and... They kind of like pearls and crystals. They are just a long tie back. So they're gonna go around those curtains once I get the tie back holders for in that room. And I got two of those and they were $2.99 from the range. Then I got this throw from the range and this was $12.99. I've actually got this one in my bedroom and I've got it in like a, it's like a natural stony sort of color. But this is obviously for here because we are sorting the living room out. The wallpaper should be going up at the end of this month. The guy that comes around and does all our bits and pieces in the house is starting back again at the end of the month. So I can't wait for the changes that are gonna be happening around the house. And I will be vlogging all of the like little changes and stuff that we're having done. Even though they're small changes, they are actually gonna make quite a big difference around here. If you do wanna see the changes that are gonna happen around the house, I'll be doing before and afters. So if you wanna see the difference that it's gonna make around the house when we have all the little jobs done, then definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell and then you won't miss it. So don't want you to miss out on that because I'm actually so excited for that. I'm dead happy with this purchase. It's like a chenille. I always feel like I'm saying someone's name when I say it. So I've got chenille over here. She's going down there. I saw this picture 
I think this is just gonna go so nice in this room. Fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. It's got like a gray, gray wooden frame. And then it's kind of, it's just like a bit of eucalyptus, perhaps a hydrangea or a peony going on up there. I just really, really like it. And speaking of picture frames, you know what I'm like with a photo frame. Home bargains. This is the last retail shop buy I'm gonna show you. And then I'm gonna show you something else at the end, which I'm so excited to show you. Um, more photo frames. Uh, these are like a dark grey. Again, I thought they'd look really nice in here. They'll go up somewhere. I don't know where they're going to go yet. But I need to actually start ordering all the photos that are going to go in these frames. Because I think I've got like 10 now. So I need to do that. Snap fish. I'm coming for you. Then, the last thing that I want to show you. One of my closest friends has started her own little pom-pom business. And she's called the pom-pom florist. Because... She literally does everything with pom-poms. Like, if you want something as a pom-pom, she'll do it. So, I'll leave her link in the description box. Um, she hasn't asked me to do this, but I am going to do it anyway. So, she has made me this pom-pom garland. And this is for Amelie's room. So, she's done it in all the colours that Amelie has in her room. I absolutely love it. It's so nice. Like, it is so nice. Oh my god! Right. Another funny story. Lost my car keys yesterday. They're in this bag. God's sake. She also made me this one. And this one is for the dressing room, spare room. I've got a shelf in there that I'm going to hang this one from. So this is a little pom-pom tassel one and just put those little small wooden beads in the middle. I literally just sent her a picture offline and she made it for me. She makes like pom-pom flowers and things like that that you can put in vases. She does cake toppers, pom-pom wreaths on the front of your door. She's talented. So that's the pom-pom florist. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description box so you can go over and check her out. But yeah, that is everything that I've actually got this week. You've seen all my purchases for the week. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to have you on my channel permanently. So make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And make sure you stick around because I'm gonna be doing loads of different home improvement videos soon. So if you like home improvement videos, then definitely, definitely subscribe because then you won't miss them. It's been lovely catching up with you and showing you what I've been doing and what I've been buying. And yeah, so take care everybody, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.